Hello and welcome to the first episode of EIG Youth Talks. Today we are going to speak about the Erasmus Plus program and the management of digital youth NGOs. Our guest today is Khan Akoja, the co-founder of European Integration Group Istanbul. Hello Khan. Hello Sophie. How are you today? It's a sunny Sunday, I will say. It's perfect. I'm in Chanakale now. And how are you? How is it Istanbul? Yeah, I'm fine. I mean, it's good to have a sunny Sunday and be at home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, sure. So I am going to ask you some questions. Are you ready? Sure, always. <laughs> <laughs> so um, Khan, you have been working in the field of youth NGOs for a lot of years. And uh, I want to ask you, how did you actually get into that field? How did, did you discover the Erasmus Plus program? Actually, it, uh, like I will say, I, I started working, um, I mean, the uh, first time when, when I met with Erasmus Plus, the name was not Erasmus Plus, it was Youth in Action Program. And it was in 2009. Uh, I, we had uh, we had the Comenius project uh, under Youth in Action program in uh, my high school. So I discovered the um, I saw that there is an opportunity to go to European Union uh, countries and uh, to have uh, friends from other countries, and uh, I liked it. And I just continued. May I ask to... what your first project was like? Uh, the, the project name was the European Union Job, Job Market. It was about entrepreneurship and uh, it was about the new, uh, new opportunities in the, in the European Union about the, about the um, jobs and the employment. Mm -hmm. So, and like this. what was the project <laughs> like? Was uh, it fun? It, Yes, sure. I was I was just in 2009, I was just 15 years old and I, I went to Spain. I went to Malaga and uh, I met with the, the project had five partner countries, Spain, Bulgaria, Italy and uh, two Romanian school and one Turkish school. So it was the first time that I had the opportunity to have international friends. Uh, and how did you actually start working in that field? Um, I mean, after the, I discovered the, this um, program that there is uh, opportunity to go abroad with the fund. I mean, we, we, I was not paying any money to even for travel tickets or even for accommodation. So I was uh, looking, I was searching for the other opportunities during my university studies. And uh, I found that the, the Erasmus Plus, the name changed from Youth in Action to Erasmus Plus in 2014. And they changed the name to Erasmus Plus. And I found out that the Erasmus Plus program can give me opportunity to go abroad and to learn more about the, the other cultures and to uh, and also about the topics that the project's about. So I just I just searched on Google. I just found some Facebook groups. It was very very abstract search actually. Like I, I went through the Facebook and I found some projects. I sent my CV. I started to participate in the projects and then. I, I just became a part of Erasmus Plus uh, world. And uh, European Integration Group, how is it actually connected to the Erasmus Plus program? What does your uh, NGO actually do? So I can briefly give you about the, the, the history of a European Integration Group. European Integration Group was founded as an informal group, which is uh, um, which is a um, Europe uh, like approved uh, body, approved uh, community by European Commission, and uh, we we started uh, applying for projects or being partner for the projects in 2016, and 
actually European Integration Group with the Turkish name of Avrupa Integration Derne is, uh, is focused on youth empowerment through Erasmus Plus. So uh, we, we, write the, we write the projects, we, we create the proposals to European Commission to Turkish National Agency and, and uh, we get the main funding from European Union. May I ask what uh, the term empowerment actually means for you and how it can be realized through those projects? Uh, what empowerment? Empowerment, I will say the indiv development of individuals, development of youth individuals, like empowerment, uh, to provide to youth people their own development, their own individual development. And also Erasmus Plus program has these um, competences that um, each project you get different competences such as uh, multilingual competence, citizenship competence, entrepreneurship competence, so uh, I would say that the um, development of individuals and the uh, transfer of the competences from participants to participants, that means empowerment for me. Mm -hmm. What do you think? So, <laughs> and, and now that the um, new phase of the Erasmus Plus project has started, the 2021 until 2027 phase, uh, and we have, uh, well, the situation of the corona pandemic. How do you think that the uh, uh, situation influences the program? Uh, it's, the, it's a tough one. It's, it affects a lot. It affects because Erasmus Plus, as, as you already know, you, you, Erasmus is about mobility. And uh, now due to coronavirus pandemic, there is no mobility existed between European Union and Turkey and also internally in European Union countries. So the mobility is restricted and uh, Euro Erasmus Plus projects are also stopped. So we, we are working mostly uh, online channel. We are using online channels. We, we, I mean, NGO works are also in these days are mostly online, but also we need to have some offline events that we gather people, we connect people to each other. We, we, we create them an um, environment to socialize and to change, to exchange their ideas. So in these days, it's really hard, but I believe as European Integration Group, we are doing our best on online channels. And this is uh, why we are doing these youth talks today. I'm very happy and uh, thank you very much to you also for leading these uh, youth talks. Thank you for explaining the situation from your perspective. And uh, as the work uh, in European Integration Group is mainly digitally now, but it was also digitally before, it is basically a digital youth NGO. Can you explain what that means or how the work works? <laughs> okay. I will say digital youth NGO um, seems like when the Silicon Valley and the startup companies started working uh, using uh, some digital tools, uh, we discovered that as a youth NGO, we also should use some same tools in order to create a, create a better teamwork. Also, we need to be a digital NGO by using, I don't know, Slack, Asana, or getting G Suite, uh, G Suite server using G Suite Google uh, tools in our NGO create us to have opportunity to work from abroad, to work remotely. Because in the, our NGO works, sometimes you travel to project to Vietnam, for example, or you travel to project to Brussels, but you need to 
that uh, you, you need to reach your documents, you need to reach your data, the, the, and you need to be online and you need to connect with your team everywhere. Before the coronavirus pandemic, we had also digitally uh, working NGO, but with the pandemic, we are we also improved and we put a lot to our works. And uh, now I believe we are we are we are a we are a digital youth NGO that is working smoothly. And uh, yeah, I will say using the digital tools, social media, because not just uh, working. I mean teamwork, not just the tools that we use or um, some uh, task management programs or uh, chat programs for the teams or like server uh, databases, not just like for work. Also in these days, um, you can reach the people on online channels. Like you need to be digital to reach also your audience. If you want to yeah. reach the youth people, we can reach from Instagram or Facebook or other channels. Yes. Uh, speaking of which, uh, I want to ask you one more question. Um, people that are listening right now or watching right now, how can they actually benefit from the Erasmus Plus, Plus program? How is it accessible? Uh, this, this we, we, we have to work more. We have to reach all the youth people from 18 to 30 years old to make them know about Erasmus Plus. But basically uh, they need to, if they are a university student, they can go ask their university, uh, European Union or Erasmus department, Erasmus Affairs, European Union Affairs. And, uh, or they can search on Facebook. There are a lot of groups. The leading channel for this is still Facebook or they can check Instagram. They can check some youth NGOs. They are working, they are working in the field of Erasmus Plus. So yes, they did mostly online, they can reach out, but we need to work more to uh, make ourselves visible and to mm -hmm. let them know about us and know about Erasmus Plus more because it's a, it's a great program as all the European Commission members also agree that Erasmus Plus, one of the best initiative, one of the best program of European Union. So they can reach on online channels and they can just use Google smartly and make some research. Question. Thank you for joining and um, thank you for joining us. Right now, the internet is not working so well, but now you're back. Yes. I see you. Yes, yes, um, yes. And now it's back. Is there anything else you would like to add? Thank you very much. I believe these uh, you talk series will be very much uh, fun with you, Sophie. Thank you for your thank question. You. Thank you for joining Khan and uh, we learned from our conversation today that even more in those times the work of digital youth and the NGOs is important and it was really interesting to uh, learn how your NGO is actually working in general and especially in those times. Um, thank you for those who are watching right now and uh, make sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, European Integration Group. Um, and we will be happy to invite you to our episode next week where we will speak about the Erasmus Plus program in more detail. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you, Khan. Thank Have a nice Sunday. Much. Have a nice Sunday. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.